Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. My name is Will, and today is a big day. Uh, I know it's crazy that we're starting our first video with PRs, but I like the idea of giving y'all a good look at where I'm starting off for this journey, so that way we can build up and look back at how much we've improved so far. I'm super excited, I'm super stoked. There are four PRs that I'm going for. Deadlift, squat, bench, power clean, the usual three, plus an extra that I love doing. Um, basically, I'm going to explain it in the videos how it's going to go. I'm going to have three attempts to hit, try to hit this PR that I have in mind. And if I don't, then it is what it is. If I do, that's awesome. And yeah, uh, at the end of it all, I'm going to give you all a good little physique check to show you all how I look from this moment. And yeah, it's going to take over the course of the week. And yeah, I'm so excited. So yeah, please enjoy this compilation of PRs. Uh, and yeah, we'll get, once those happen, we'll get into lifting, get ready for the next PRs. So yeah, I'm excited. So let's get into it. Hit this, and it will be one of. It'll be one step closer to getting to that 405. You know what I mean? So, yeah. yeah, at the end of the day, if I, don't, if I don't hit the right form, I'll redo it. But for now, let's see how we do. Second attempt. Uh, we're gonna go for 375 again. If I don't hit 375 again, then we're gonna go for 365. But uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Uh, but for now, the best I can do is just catch my breath a little bit, and then regroup, and then we're going to go for 360, and we're going to hit it. Crush it. And yeah, now, I could be saying, ah, I could be, I could be crush this a little bit. In reality, we're all here. Y'all are part of this journey. So, we're all crushing this lift. We're going to crush this lift. We're going to make it happen. And yeah, we keep on working towards our next goal. Let's do it. All right. 365. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, 
That was awesome. Hey, we hit it. We hit 365. Now, I won't be able to look until the edits to see how I did. And if, if uh, the form was right, I think the form was pretty good. Uh, I don't feel my back torn into a million pieces, so that's a positive. Um, yeah, we just hit 365. It's amazing. It's awesome. It sucks that we're not at, you know, 375. But then again, it's a 25, you know, 10 pound difference. And not only that, as I mean, it's still a huge in the sense that we at least were able to conquer the 25 pound plate. Next up is the 35 pound plate. And then, and then, we'll be hitting the four big plates. The four big ones. And we will be rolling onto, yeah. We just keep on rolling. We should keep on rolling. Yeah. We just got 365. And now, we're on to back squat. with my neck a little bit upsetting but you know it is what it is <laughs> as for that <laughs> that hurt it hurt in the legs so it hurt in the shoulders but again that's because of the sunburn but what can you do about it what can you do uh, I know a question that I know I'm going to be asked a lot is why do I always wear that cross chain or that plate chain I should say and the only reason why is because well the reason why is because I love Fitness, fitness has been something part of, has been a part of me, uh, and I want to commemorate that while also commemorate, commemorating the Lord, since I'm a Christian, devout Christian, and so I found that online, and I got it blessed by uh, my priest, and I'm beyond thankful for that. And you know, just a reminder to always keep on going. That I can do everything through the Lord, who of course strengthens strengthens me, and that is my own my my take of uh, my way of saying. Uh, Philippians 4.13. So, yeah. And it was a good lift, I will say. But, uh, definitely need to be worried about these, these guys. Uh, but yeah. We're gonna go for 355 now. Let's do this. Alright, so, I have to change the camera angle. Uh, because I realized that the, uh, angle there didn't catch me doing the full breath. I don't want to give you all the best out of me. And so for that, I'm going to be redoing 355. This time with a better camera angle, that way you can see the, the depth of the explosion back up. Yeah. Uh, as before, as I stated, we will be. The song is Oblivion by One Heart. That's the song that we will be referring to today. And yeah, the sunburned shoulders. <laughs> We're redoing this because of sunburned shoulders. Wow. <laughs> Are we going to be redoing this? Yeah. Let's do this. 355. as other people, as y'all say, I'm work harder, I'm adept, 
especially known by the, uh, with my 80 year old names. Uh, but yeah, this is huge. This is huge. Just one step closer to my uh, goal for the end of the year, which is 375. Which, knowing that we're going up 10 pounds each time, huge for me. But yeah. Anyways, as a uh, you know the other you know as I would say, yeah, very successful lift. Very successful lift. Gonna hit some abs now. Gonna yeah, just gonna hit some abs, which I don't. I'm not gonna show because this is a PR video. And PR videos are about PR videos. Yes. <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, we're gonna yeah we're gonna put up and we'll be back tomorrow for bench press. Alrighty. So before we get into this. Uh, Next PR, I want to real quick mention, talk to y'all about this real quick uh, supplement group named Phoenix Fit. Uh, I know I'm speaking a little quieter than usual, but that's because family's asleep. It's early in the morning, and I, I don't want to wake them up at all, especially knowing that we're going on a trip later today. So basically what Phoenix is, it's, you know, it's your usual supplement com company. Uh, it's very cool, very nice, very clean they're not clean i guess but you know they're very good you know they got pre-workouts they got protein powders as seen right here this is the peanut butter cup flavor um very good very delicious you know just you know usual take a scoop get some milk fill it up yeah there's your protein shake very nice very very delicious 23 grams of protein. It's got some BCAs. Very nice. Very smooth. Not chunky. And if you don't like protein powders, then there's also some BCAAs as well. As I said, there's also pre-workout. There's also greens. There's also hydration stuff. It's got a lot of things. And even like if you don't want anything like liquidy, there's also there's also like dietary supplements, krill oil. Uh, apple cider vinegar and they even uh, just began selling ashwagandha recently so you know if you're if you're if you need you know want to try something new definitely check out uh phoenix and if you use a uh, code will 15 you'll save yourself a little bit of money a little bit of a little something uh yeah i mean the website is phoenixfit.com be shown here in the description too but uh yeah that being said let's hop into the next pr Cheers. We didn't shake it enough. Alright, we're doing fat. So yeah, got the wrist wraps out. Uh, if you're wondering why. You know, wrist stability is very important. Especially when it comes to, uh, you know, bench. <laughs> but yeah. Very simple. 25 for two reps. We're gonna go for, you know, we're not gonna go for slow reps, we're gonna go for doable reps. Full, full extension down, full extension up. And yeah, that's the plan. That's, that's the goal in mind. Yeah, okay, let's do this. I can just push it over 
that way it'll fall to one side and then jerk to the other side. Is that the safest option? No. But is it the bet? Is it the bet? A good fail safe? Yes. Uh, they have. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. Now bench press. No, it's bench press. There's a few criteria, and I can't wait to just think about this. You know, I never really talked about you know a good deadlift or a good back squat, but uh, good criteria for a bench press really just depends first off on your grip. Uh, but the most common form is, you know, how I do it. The length uh, from uh, this solid, this solid part. Uh, thumb width. Yeah. Grab. Lift off is fine. Uh, you know, like normal lift off. Legs are low, you slide arch, slide arch on your back, you know. Because you're working the chest essentially, so that slide arch in the chest will help that stretch, stretch your chest. So push up, feel that in your chest more. Um, a more narrow grip will affect a bit more the tricep area, and the wider grip will get more the chest area, so it just depends on what you're going to do. Essentially, a good, a good rep, you know, will uh, you know, hit the bottom and then extend, and extend to the top, and yeah, that's basically the gist of it. Yeah, anyways. Yeah. You can hit this. You can hit this. Set up to hit this weight. 
So, I mean, that's at least something I could have brought all of that. I could be very wrong with that. Everyone has a good point. But yeah, we'll just see how that goes. We'll just see how that goes. But for now, we can rest up and we get ready for that second time. So, I had to... I had to... If the camera quality looks a little off, that's because my camera died. Yeah. My camera died trying to, you know, because I was moving footage over from uh, the other two days. So, uh, yeah, that was nice. Um, so, yeah, if the, if the quality is looking a little rough or the audio quality or anything that's rough, that's because I'm using my phone, which means there's no music. So, this is going to be extra. A lot of extra uh, stuff to it. 255, second attempt. Let's do this. Alright, one. Give me a lift. Give me a lift. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Push. Push it over. Ready? Three. Ah, oh, nah. Dude, my freaking elbow, dude. Not, dude, my arms are shaking. Oh, that was awful. That was awful. Dude, my... That was not good. That was awful, dude. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that was uh, attempt number two. Out of three. Wow. I couldn't even get it down, dude. That was... That was awful, man. Awful. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to lower the weight. Go to 250. Which I'm not too upset about. But at the same time, I know I can probably hit better. I know I can't hit better. It's one of those things, you know. But you gotta work with what you got. You gotta work with what you're given. Um, but yeah. But yeah, I mean, what can you do? Okay, I'm gonna give it a little bit. And then we're gonna go on to 240, uh, 250, my bad. Yeah, we're gonna go to 250 after this. All right. Audio is audio was really weird. I looked over the feed the feed, and the audio was very weird. I can't find out I was using the wrong head, the wrong uh, microphone microphone tone uh, filter thing. So uh, that's my bad if I messed if I messed up y'all's ears. And I'm also talking a little softer, just so that way the audio is a lot clearer, a lot more smooth. You know. So yeah, that's the plan. Uh, today we're going to go for 250, and this is my third attempt, if I fail this, I'm cooked, if I make it, we're good, today let's do this, okay, alright boy, look me up buddy, yeah, three, Two, one, up. There we go. Call you. Call you. Damn. Five. Oh, man. I'm disappointed. I guess is the best way to put it. I don't have I don't have any other words to say, but I'm disappointed. It sucks. It really does. Because I worked hard these past three months, and even though y'all didn't see that, because you know, I just began this, it still sucks. It sucks knowing that I'm giving y'all I'm giving y'all like it sucks that I'm giving y'all this result. Cause I, I wanted to see y'all, I wanted to go see how 
you know, see the starting point. Just that way you can look back and be like, you know, but at the same time, I think it's a good thing, you know, because I look back, you know, you look back later, like three months down the road from now, and we'll see that, hey, this guy's improved. This guy's gotten better. So, yeah. Well, see, it's more motivation. It's more motivation at the end of the day. But, yeah, that was my third attempt. Damn, that was my third attempt, and I failed that. <laughs> I mean, what can you do there? But, yeah, I guess, yeah. So, I am going to put up. I'm going to put up. Yeah, I'm going to put up. I'm going to do some ab crunches. There's some ab crunches. I'm going to do some ab workouts, which, again, will not be shown, but, you know, some, at some point they will be shown. Um, and, yeah, tomorrow's the last day of PRs. We're going to be doing power cleans. So, yeah, it's the final day of PRs, final day of PRs. So, with that in mind... Yeah, it's the final day. We got power cleans. Now, when, when I'm doing a good power clean, what I'm looking for, one of a few things, mostly. First off, I got to get the full elbows, you know, out. Fingers, you know, extended all the way. Boom. Also want to be in a bit of a you know, position down here just so that way it can count since hand cleans and power cleans tend to work on the legs a little bit as well. But yeah, uh, how this is gonna go. Power crunch is a little bit different since I'm still in that one plate area. And that transition from one plate to two plates. I will be uh, just hitting a warm up of three with this. Now, the goal for today is gonna be 200. Last time I hit 195. I'm going to go for 200. I think I can do it. I think it's going to be good. Yeah. Let me just put on my wrist straps. And, uh, yeah. We'll get into this. So, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I'm looking back on the other, on the other days as I put on these lifting straps. And... I realized that it ain't, it, it could have gone a lot better if I look back, but I also think it's a good learning, good bit of learning, because, you know, if you don't learn, you're not going to get better. That's just how I see it. You got to learn, you got to find out what you did wrong, you got to improve, and yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, that's just how it is. It's, you know, yeah, but yeah, also real quick before I do this. If at any point I do something wrong throughout the entirety of the video, throughout any of the PRs, if I did anything wrong, whether it was, I, you know, something wrong with my form on deadlift, or I didn't go low enough on my back squat, or, you know, something that I did wrong with my bench, or, you know, power clean, please let me know. I love learning. I want to get better. I want to make sure I give the best from me so I can give y'all my best. I want to know the more, the more I know the better I can become for you guys and for me too, you know? But I want to make sure you guys get the best of me, and I can only do that if I can find out what I did wrong so I can fix that and get better at it. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm doing three, three reps. I'm doing three reps, and, yeah, let's get into this. So, yeah. Let's see. Hey, remember, 135 for three. Hit this again. This is my first attempt for 200. Goal is to get it up, 
Boom. Those appear deadlifts. <laughs> yeah, nah. I think, one, yeah. I'm going to count that as a fail. And the reason why I'm counting that as a fail is because I got it up. And the point of the power clean is supposed to be one smooth progression. So you want to start, you know, from the bottom, smooth progression up, and then into the catch. In that case, I just went for the lift, but I couldn't get the catch down. <laughs> So we're going to count that, you know, again, because of the, you know, personal error that I made, which is, you know, failing to go for the catch. That's more of a mental block of mine that I need to fix. And we will get it. You know, hate that that's the case, but that's just how it is. That's how we saw in football. It was from in football how it was. Was that if, it doesn't matter if you get it up, you know, it doesn't matter if like, you know, you get it up and then, you know, boom, it's all, they, they would only count it if it was a smooth progression up and with the smooth catch, smooth ground in, smooth lift up. It's not just a bunch of, you know, at the end of the day, yes, the power clean is a bunch of movements. However, it's supposed to turn into one concisive movement, you know, the, you know, the grab, the lift, the catch, the grounding, you know, and then the lift, the back up, and then the drop. Now, as long as you're able to get it back up, that's the important thing. So, second attempt will be coming up. And, yeah, 200, attempt number two. Let's do this. Am I nervous? Yes. But I think that's my problem. I'm nervous. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so nothing is. Don't be nervous. Deep breaths. You go at this full force. That's the plan. And we're going to stick by it. And we're going to crush 200. Just like how we crushed 195. And y'all, and I'll, I don't have a good video of it, sadly, but yeah, we're going to crush it. <laughs> What happened there? I'll tell you what happened there. First things first. Everything was right. Set up right. Everything. But it was the way my legs did that. When you're power cleaning, basically, you don't want to just jump and take your feet out. Because you take your feet under you. That's your, that's your ground source. You take out your ground source. You know? <laughs> And so that's what I did because that, that messed me up, you know, that also it couldn't fully, you know, even then that wouldn't have been a very, that would have been a very bad position, really. It wouldn't have been a good PR for power clean, but at the very least we know we can try to hook it. So yeah, last attempt for 200 and see how it goes. And yeah. As always, remember, goal, good catch, good squat, good pickup, and yeah, gotta make sure the hook's right. Gotta make sure when I hook it, it's a good hook. So yeah, let's do this.
don't have any words. Not words, not many words to say. And all I can really say is, uh, you just gotta gotta work harder, man. I know I can hit 195. Like I've been, I've hit 195 before. You know, my goal is to hit 200, and I was able to hit it. It sucks, but that seems to gotta work harder, and you know, y'all are gonna get to see that within these next three months. But yeah. Anyways, that's all for uh, PRs. I'd like to say they were good, but truth be told, like Western, some did good on others. What can you do? So that means I just got to get better. But yeah, I'm going to do a little physique check, physique check at the end. So yeah, let me put up and then we'll go to that. All right, quick little physique check, you know, just to see how, like, get a good starting point, get a good look at the beginning. So yeah, all right, come on. What? Hold on. Obviously, not the best. Not the best. No. Get a little that spread. You got them wings. Now from the back. And then, you know, a little scoop. Scoop. You know. Yeah, right off the bat. I know I don't have the best physique. Please don't. Jesus Christ. Hey, chill, chill, chill. Chill, 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 chill. Chill. Oh shit. You missed. You missed. All right. So right at the bat, the gut's a big problem. It's always been a big problem. Always will be. Well, not for now, or for now at least. You know, a lot of ab work. We'll go into that. A lot of cardio. We'll get that fixed. Uh, arms could get bit, could be bigger. Feel free. I mean, let me do a little closer, and then, yeah, lats are there. Not the best, not the best, not the worst. But yeah, we're gonna build that up. Same with the chest, legs. Legs are there. Legs are there. No problem with that. But yeah, I know the bikes are in the way, but you know, I really can't. Don't feel like moving, <laughs> moving them. But yeah, I say, I guess that's it for me. That's it. You know, but yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah. It's on to training and getting ready for you know this next PR set, which is gonna happen in July to August, August and October. Yeah, it's gonna happen in October. So yeah. Yeah, we're gonna keep on training, yeah. We're gonna see what happens.